What's up guys, we're the bombs and this is something we've never done before. This is gonna be our how to series, video one. How to pass, like a bum. All right, so this is how to pass like a bum, but what does that really mean? It's not literally like a bum. We are the bums and we're teaching how we learn to pass. This is just some of our tips and tricks of what we learned from people we've played against, our friends, some even, even some pros when we went to the AVP tour. Some of the tricks we learned and we're going to show to y'all. Alright, so the first tip in passing is keeping your eyes on the ball. How to hold your hands. Personally, we've decided that it doesn't really matter how you hold your hands. I come in with my right flat hand other hand just comes, holds it, kind of flip my wrist down. Nice flat platform for the ball to hit off of. All that I really care about for me personally, my platform, is just making sure it's nice and flat. Just getting my hands together and having a flat platform. So, Adam holds his hands like this. I hold my hands like that. Used to hold like this, but now I find it more comfortable and quicker to go straight right there. Like you said, flat platform. That's where I'm at. All right, so now we know how to hold our hands and really it's all a preference thing. However you feel comfortable to be able to get a flat platform. Some people don't even use any type of hand grab. They just come straight together. All preference, whatever you can do to get that flat platform. The next thing that we wanna do before we get to where we need to position and how we need to position our feet and body, the next thing we wanna really focus on is getting our arms nice and extended out away from our body we don't want to be in here we don't want to be all crunched in we want nice out flat and we want to squat down just a little bit because when we go to pass we don't want to swing our arms shouldn't be moving they should be nice and flat and really be pointing to where we want to push or pass the ball all right so as we're going to pass the ball when that ball is coming in we're nice and flat we want to watch the ball that ball is going to hit my platform. I'm going to see it hit my platform and I'm going to watch it leave. So it's going to hit and it's going to go out and I'm going to watch it the whole time to make sure that ball touches me right where I want it to go. So that way if I'm not looking, it may touch on this side of my arm. It's going to send it that way. It may hit over here. It may go that way. It may hit too high. I might not get a good pass off my platform, but if I watch it, it's going to hit right where I want it to hit and I'm going to watch it leave to make sure it goes right where I'm trying to go and get that real perfect pass. All right, so now that we know how to hold our arms, how to hold our hands, what our eyes should be doing, it's gonna to talk to us about how to position our body. All right, so these are the three tips that we have for body positioning. Number one, lower body. You should be balanced, little bend in the knees, bend at the hips. We want to make sure we are over our toes so we are ready to move in any direction we need to go. Number two, we want to have our hips behind our platform. So when our platform is out, our hips need to be behind it. We want to stay square to where we are passing. So let's say if the ball is nice and easy, it's coming in and we want to pass straight forward. We want our hips to be straight behind the ball and that's where number three comes in. As the ball is touching us, we want to rise with our legs and get that ball right to where it wants to go. So when that ball comes in, we want to be nice in a squat position, balls contacting, we want to rise. We don't want to swing the arms because that's when we can make an errant pass. The ball could go behind us to the side. We may lose focus. So when that platform's out, ball contacts, we want to rise and guide it right to where it needs to go. So now that we know how our body needs to be positioned, we know how our hands need to be, we know how our platform needs to be out and what our eyes are doing, another small key that we have learned is early platform. So what is an early platform? Make sure to like and subscribe. Early platform. So what's it mean to have an early platform? Once you see the trajectory of the ball, like he said, it's never too early to get your platform out. Once you see where the ball is going, go ahead, shoot your hands out. Get your hands and your platform ready 
to receive the ball and make a good pass. As we know, having an early platform is very important. We also want to try and always get our hips behind the ball, whether that's going to the ground to secure that perfect pass, to watch that ball all the way in and make sure we get it up. We always want our hips to be square to where we're passing. So if that ball is outside of our frames, we want to throw our hips behind the ball. So whichever way the ball is going, if we can't get to it perfectly square, we want to throw our hips behind the ball so that way we know, because your hips don't lie. So a good way to practice passing is to get a partner. We're going to demonstrate how we like to pass and just practice passing to ourselves. Get like four good in here. Okay, that should go. All right, so although you couldn't see our eyes, I promise we've been practicing. We try to always watch that ball hit the platform. Hit the platform. Try to keep our square, body square to where we're passing and just a little bounce using our legs, not our arms. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Check us out on all of our platforms. Go check out our Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok. And if you see us around any tournaments, make sure to stop by, say what's up for the video. Come say hey. Or just, you know, come talk to us. That's right. We're friendly. Promise. <laughs> 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 Use some ticks and tips. Cut. <laughs> These are some tips and tricks. <laughs> I just wanted to. These are some tips. <laughs> I knew that was coming. These are some tips and tricks at the back. <laughs>